Hello, pilots of the internet. Welcome to Foldable Flight. My name is Kyle, and in this video, we're comparing two of my paper airplanes, Elanis and Silex drone, through a bit of a competition. It will consist of 10 rounds in which I throw each plane once. Based on their performance, I'll award points in a couple of ways. First, a plane will get two points for winning any individual round by flying farther. And second, I'll average the five best flights for each plane together and award a number of points equal to that distance in feet. And then we'll add it all up and determine a winner. So let's get started by looking at some of the best throws of the competition. Salix drone starts out as the stronger of the two. In round two, it flew to the far side of the gym and hit the rolling wall. I can't be sure how far it would have flown, but I gave it a conservative bonus of five feet. It isn't until round 5 that Atlantis has a strong flight, but this one is the best of either plane so far. Again, I'm granting a bonus of 5 feet for hitting the wall. And Atlantis has another great throw in round 6. This time it was flying so well I gave it a bonus of 15 feet. Obviously I'm going to need a bigger space next time I do this. Round 7 goes to Silex Drone with a nice flight of 79 feet, but Atlantis has an even better flight in round 8 with a distance of 83 feet. And finally Silex Drone takes round 10 with another solid flight. So let's take a look at the numbers from all of the rounds together. You can see that Atlantis really wasn't flying well at the beginning of the competition, and it wasn't until round 5 that I had it trimmed well enough to take its first round. So Silex Drone won 6 rounds to Atlantis's 4, putting it ahead 12 points to 8. Over 10 flights, Atlantis averaged a respectable 69 feet 10 inches with an average flight time of 3.69 seconds. On the left you can see how inconsistent its flights were. Its worst flight was only 53 feet, while its best flight was 93 feet. Silex Drone had a very similar average of 69 feet 8 inches, with an average flight time of almost 4 seconds. But you can see that Silex Drone was much more consistent than Atlantis, with the gap between its worst throw and its best throw being only 22 feet. Another piece of data is that over those 10 flights, Atlantis had an average horizontal speed of 12.9 miles per hour, and Silex Drone had an average speed of 11.96 miles per hour. It's not really relevant to our competition, but I thought it was interesting to note that Atlantis was a whole mile per hour faster. Now that you have a good overview of the performance of each plane, let's average their 5 best flights and determine a winner. Over these flights, Atlantis averaged just over 81 feet 5 inches, which converts to 81.42 points. Atlantis also gets 2 points for each of the 4 rounds at one, raising its total to 89.42 points. We know that Silex Drone was able to claim 6 out of the 10 rounds, meaning it sits with 12 points before we average its best flights. In order to beat Atlantis and win the paper airplane battle, it's going to need to score an average of at least 77.43 feet. And its average is 75 feet 6.6 inches, converting to 75.55 points. So the final score is 89.42 to 87.55. So Atlantis is our winner. I'm really struck by how close this is. I mean, I intentionally picked similar planes, but I didn't think it would be this close. Maybe if I'd done a better job trimming Atlantis in the early rounds, it would have won by more, but still, what a battle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I had a ton of fun making it. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more paper airplane competitions in the future, and if there are any two planes that you're particularly interested in seeing in competition. If you are interested in folding either of the planes in this video, I'm leaving links in the description below to the folding tutorials for both of them. Good luck flying, guys! Be sure to subscribe for more awesome paper airplane content by clicking on my channel icon in the top right corner. Or check out another one of my videos here. And if you really like what I do, head over to foldableflight.com or patreon.com foldableflight. And as always, thank you for watching!